What's going on guys? I'm bringing to you this trading view plugin called Lux Algo. This is a buy and sell indicator or trading indicator that you can use on your free trading view account. Let's get into it. So right here with Lux Algo, I'm looking at Binance coin on the four hour chart. Uh, with Lux Algo, there are certain settings that you can adjust uh, to, to give you the best optimization. Uh, with this, the typical setting is around 12. If you click on the signal here, um, I switched mine to five earlier, uh, but this is typically what you'll have when you first start Lux Algo. Let me hit OK so it go, goes ahead and uh, updates. As you can see there, the buy and sell indicators actually changed position. Um, and so with that being said, 12 will kind of give you um, you know, a good overview of medium term trends. So that's kind of what that's optimized for. Um, so let's keep going here. Now, one of the ways to decide if you like to catch shorter term trends, medium term trends, or longer term trends, is basically understanding how you like to chart. Uh, do you like to chart really zoomed in? You know, do you like to have it a little bit further out? Uh, that can affect how you're seeing these signals. So you'll wanna go ahead and adjust these optimization settings uh, by clicking on one of the indicators. And so we'll get in a little deeper on how you can kind of modify this. If you hold the shift key down on TradingView, that'll enable the measure tool here. So let's say that you kind of are around where I like to be zoomed in. It's actually a little farther in than I usually am. If you hold shift and then you click you can, and then drag over, you can kind of see roughly how many bars that you're gonna see on the screen at one time. So if you're around like a hundred bars, like that's how you like to view a chart, uh, you may wanna adjust this setting. So you can click on the indicator. Um, you might wanna pick it at you know six or five even, and you're gonna hit six, uh, hit okay. And then this is going to actually modify, as you saw there real quick, it kind of moved the indicator over uh, into a little bit more of an optimized position for you so that you can kind of get the best overall understanding of the data uh, and get the most out of the indicators. So that's kind of what I would do if you're kind of gonna zoom in like this. And if we zoom out just a smidge, You'll kind of see, you know, this gives you a little bit more opportunities to see, uh, you know, the data here. And so you're not just looking at, you know, like maybe one sell signal, one buy signal all the way over here and so on and so forth. So it gives you a little bit more room to work with and see uh, what the market's doing. Also, where you may be able to have an opportunity uh, to buy in at the right time or sell at the right time. And again, if we want to even go a little bit further, um, I'm gonna drop this down to like three and then hit okay. And you'll see here in a moment, it's gonna, you can see a lot more of these indicators have popped up. When you have more indicators available to you to see here, it, it essentially helps you um, kind of get in and get out a little bit better. Um, and as well as see, you know, catch trends a little bit better and also, you know, take profits, you know, at the right opportunity. So that's just something to keep in mind. And, you know, I really like the ability to be able to modify these settings very easy um, and you can adjust it however you want. Now, if we zoom out here a little bit more, you know, you may see there's a lot of signals here. You may end up missing uh, some of the data that you want. So if we hold shift here and click over, we're looking at about, 230 bars, you know, close to 250. Um, so you're kind of, this is like more of like a medium trend view here. Um, you may want to adjust the setting back. So you click on that and you might want to put it at like 12. It's kind of where the general public likes to, you know, use it. Um, and then you'll see there now we have, you know, less information, but maybe more accurate information visible to you um, for what you're needing it for. And so, this is all depends on your viewing and how you like to do things with charting. Um, and so again, if you zoom out even further, like if you want to look at a squiggly chart here, it's like <laughs> if you like to look at it like this, you may want to actually, uh, this is more for like long-term, okay, trends. You may want to go ahead and bring this value closer to like 100. Uh, so maybe if you try 75, let's try 75, and you'll see that the signals are modifying just did right here. So this may be the information you need. So it's really a case by case. Um, there's no perfect setting, so to speak. It's about what's perfect for you. And so that's something to just keep in mind as well. Now, real quick, if we wanna go ahead and zoom back in a little bit here, kinda like a medium term. So 
there's an option here called optimal sensitivity, right? And what this is, is basically recommendations from the software on what is a good average for a sensitivity. So we wanna go ahead and actually bring it back down to like 12, right? This would be like what you would normally have, right? But it's giving us a signal saying, you know, 17 would be more optimal for this type of uh, zoom we're looking at here. Um, now, this optimal sensitivity doesn't necessarily reflect how zoomed in or out you are in general, but more about what chart you're on. So for example, um, let's go ahead and modify it really quick on the four hour. So it's giving us a recommended range of 17. So we wanna go ahead and click that. Okay, and then we'll wait for it to populate. It moved it over just a little bit. Okay, now if you're on the, let's say the one hour chart, okay, there is an optimal sensitivity range now is 36. So you may want to adjust that as well, and we'll see what that looks like. Okay, and again, this is not necessarily mattering so much about how far in or out you're zoomed, but more of like a general guideline, um, depending on you know, the time of day, the chart, the market, there's a lot of factors that go into the optimal sensitivity recommendation. So this is 36, that's where we put it, right? And so uh, we can zoom out, you know, and see kind of where that's at. And again, if I zoom out, see, it's not, it's not affecting the sensitivity. If I zoom really far in, it's not affecting it. It's not giving me an adjustment number or anything like that. So it's just, just something to keep in mind. Like it could even do it on the 15 uh, minute chart. So that one's saying, hey, optimal sensitivity now is fifth, you know, is 21. So we'll click on this, let's modify that. And we're gonna hit okay, wait for it to change. Boom, there it is. Uh, and you can see, you know, signals have moved a little bit, right? Um, whether you're far out, medium term, you know, or a little bit uh, shorter term, you know, these are just things that you can do. And it's kind of like, you know, a nice average kind of uh, setting, essentially. And then you can tweak it from there and hone it in a little bit more like we showed you. And also just so we're clear, you know, it doesn't really matter what you set your signal sensitivity to. Uh, that's not going to change like when price actions happen, like you're going to have price actions occur whether it's on 15 minute, 45 minute, one hour, one day, one week, one month, four hour, doesn't matter, okay? The point of the matter is price actions and price in the market will change. This tool isn't going to change that, but what it is going to do is provide you ample data and visibility for how you like to view your charts, how you like to pick up on trends, okay? And, you know, that's just something to keep in mind. And so you know that, you know, hey, you know, you know, this is not a crystal ball, but this is a, a, an excellent tool, uh, whether you're a beginner, intermediate or advanced user. I really love this. I've been using it for a while. It's helped me in my trading and I recommend it to anybody. So like I said, you know, the same price action can happen on any of these different charts, uh, timeframes. It's just a matter of how do you like to view your trading view? Where do you like the signals to pop? You know, how is the data going to be uh, best usable for yourself uh, so that you can make the most effective trades just to keep that in mind. Basically, the way that we're doing these optimizations essentially is, is to help you get a good perspective on the market, get a, a, a favorable perspective for yourself and how you'd like to view trends and so on. Now, if you don't want to go through all of these individual adjustments and things like that, uh, you can actually toggle this. Uh, autopilot confirmation signal settings. This is great for, for newbies. Uh, this is great to just set it and forget it where you don't want to worry about like what, how zoomed in you are, how far out you are, what chart minute you're on. Okay. You can just hit okay with that once you tick that box. And this is really going to give you a nice, uh, happy medium, uh, of, signals and this is based on some you know pretty advanced calculations so you're getting a good range here um, this is good you know this is really good for like detecting longer term trends as you can see here but it's still very effective even if you know if you want to zoom in uh, you're in medium if you want to like have the longer term view that's fine but if you just want to set it and forget it you don't want to worry about adjusting all these different um, methods here and all that 
just toggle on autopilot confirmation and you'll be good to go. All right, and so for the last method here, we're gonna go ahead and untick the uh, autopilot here and we're gonna hit okay. And we're gonna use the optimized Discord ticker optimization, okay? So real quick, we're gonna pop over to the Discord bot here, the indicator settings bot. We're gonna go to the four hour chart here and then we're gonna look at the BNB settings here. This is back tested data through private data and this is actually giving you the most profitable settings uh, according to, you know, per chart, per asset, okay? And they're recommending uh, 13 sensitivity and 29 agility. So we're gonna go over to the chart and we're gonna do 29, oh, excuse me, we're gonna do 13 sensitivity and we're gonna do a 29 agility. So we're gonna go ahead and click that and we're gonna hit okay. This is showing you the best profitable settings for this hour ticker and the asset, which is BNB, okay? And there's all these different ones here based off of, like I said, back-tested data. Uh, this is provided, you know, as a, a user of Luxalgo, and you can utilize these tools to, to get the most profit potential out of your trading. And so I find it incredibly val valuable. I love it. I think it's been super handy for me to get a real good perspective on the market. Uh, and we want to have as many perspectives uh, on the market as we can so we can make the most educated decisions with our trades. This method gives you that back-tested private data information along with the confirmation signals algorithm with Luxalgo. So doing it this way, guys, is actually going to provide you a more advanced uh, and honed-in chart than just the optimal sensitivity setting. So doing it with that, you know, it's gonna be a lot better in my personal opinion, uh, because you're getting two variables, you're getting the signal sensitivity and as well as the agility that you're getting there. So, you know, and these, gonna, these are going to change obviously with time with the market. So do keep updated on the Discord for the most up-to-date uh, settings for each asset, okay? And so, like I said, guys, I recommend this product. Uh, you can get it in the link below in the description here uh, there's monthly quarterly yearly and the lifetime uh, premium you can go ahead and pay with crypto on these guys and there's a good sale going on right now 60% off I mean you how can you miss out on this opportunity it's crazy uh, I love it I hope this tutorial has been super helpful for you uh, again Make sure you go ahead and hit the link in the description if you want to get Lux Algo. And go ahead and hit the subscribe and like button and turn on notifications. And I'll see you in the next video. This is not financial advice, but I would advise you to check out my next video. Be alpha.